So there's a great big pothole, more of a crater really, right outside this business, just as you're about to go through the exit barrier, so it's within their car park, just as you're about to leave, this huge big pothole crater right in the ground. And lots of people have told reception, hey, what are you going to do about this pothole? When are you going to get it fixed? This business has at the exit, just as you walk past reception on the way out, it has one of these, how did we do today pads? Is there anything you want to tell us? And I know lots of people have taken the time to type in a message. Well, you're going to get that pothole fixed. And yet, this same business, with that data, with that information that people have given it, will send out via email a customer satisfaction survey. Hey, how are we doing? It'll only take you five minutes to complete. Well, I've already told you twice how you're doing, and so have lots of other people. So why are you sending me this email? It makes you look foolish. Lots of businesses do this. I've spent nights in hotel chains, and I've gone down to reception, and I've said, yeah, that was great, but... And then I get home a few hours later, and I get this email. Hey, we hope you enjoyed our stay. Tell us, take 10 minutes. Tell us what you thought. I've already told you what I thought. I told a human being. And you know what I'm getting at? We've got these wonderful systems, these automated systems in business, and they're not always joining up with the human beings. And we're losing that. And it makes you look really foolish. Why on earth should I spend 10 minutes filling out a satisfaction survey when I've already spoken to a human being in your uniform and they told me that they understood, they told me they would action it, but they haven't. I see it as well with email distribution letters. Um, great news uh, for, uh, for users of our Brighton Fitness Club. Well, I have never set foot in the Brighton Fitness Club. That's not the one I use. I'm delighted it's getting all the investment, uh, but kind of feel a little bit cheated now that, well, my branch uh, isn't. Um, so I think, again, when you've got these lists set up, yeah, we've got these wonderful automated tools that make our lives easier. You still have to check it, test it, double check everything. Don't rely entirely on the machines because somewhere there's a human being that's made a mistake and all the machine's going to do is blast that mistake out to the wider world. So there's two lessons for today. Number one, pointless, time-consuming feedback surveys that don't, that don't join up with what your staff have already been told. So put the human beings first. Make sure the human being and the system actually talk to each other and don't send someone a satisfaction email when they've already told you what they think. And then the second point, if you're doing uh, email newsletters, if you're doing mail merge, if you're doing those, uh, you know, these marketing lists, make sure you're sending it to the right list. Double check. You know, you've got to give it that human check and sometimes override these systems. It's all part of your brand. It's all part of how you communicate. And it leaves people feeling cheated. It makes them think you're stupid. Above all, it makes them think that you're just not listening.